sure that most of you guys have heard me say this, but if you haven't already, I have two Roblox shirts for Christmas that you guys could check out in the link in the description below. One is green, one is red, with a few different designs on it featuring trees, blood bags, Christmas presents, and dual M231s on the back. The people that I'm showing up on screen right now have already bought the shirt, and if you'd like to be featured in one of these videos, you could join the Discord server linked below, where you can post a picture of your avatar wearing it in the Christmas event channel. Make sure you guys check that out below. If you haven't already as well, most of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed, so if you could subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. Enjoy the video. Okay, so I have found a setup that I really don't see anybody talking about, and it's this goofy looking thing here. So as I've said multiple times in videos in the past, I get bored of guns very fast on Phantom Forces, so I'm constantly swapping through just like a dozen different things. And I came across the MP10, which is a gun I have used before, but I haven't really paid too much mind to. So as I've gotten used to doing more kind of generic attachments that help with recoil, I've actually found that there is like no recoil with this gun. So I found that you can actually use basically any sight with this. So I'm just going to run iron sights for now just to kind of show you what I have here. But what you basically want to do is you want to put on muzzle brake, folding grip, green laser, and I, I don't have any ammo types that I've tested on it. So now watch this, ready? No recoil. I died, but no recoil. Look! You don't even have to do anything, it's just point and click. Assuming that you hit your shots at all. Just to prove a point though, cross the map. Dead. Cross the map. Dead. It's that easy. It's just that simple, folks. And for just 32 easy payments of 48, 22, you too can rock this no recoil setup. Look! It, you, you can't stop it! Uh, well, that guy <laughs> I was not expecting that. There's a guy right here. Oh no, he's above me. Oh god. No, he's not. Where the heck is this guy? Unless... Nope, I am just hearing things. Okay, understandable. Dead. Too easy, bro. Too easy. Dead. Nope, he's not dead. Now I'm dead. Why is he looking at this guy? What is this guy doing? There he goes. This gun is just too freaking easy to use. Honestly, like... I don't know why I don't see more people using this gun. You know what? I, I got a challenge. I got a challenge, actually. What if I use the PSO scope on this? Now, scopes are not necessarily something that you want to put onto fully automatic submachine guns necessarily, but watch this. Ready? <laughs> oh my god, every time. All right, y'all ready? Watch this. Look at that. It's easy as, easy as right click, left click. As long as you can move your cursor to where you want to shoot and actually hit what you're shooting at, then you just got, you got this, you got a laser. Very rarely do I see a no recoil setup that actually makes sense. Usually it's people like, oh, the M60, yeah, it bounces everywhere and it gives you a headache while you use it, but like, it's just, it like, you know, it goes back to, to upside down. I cannot find any justification for the M60s used, to be honest. But like, no, this is actually just like, you just point and it's done. I don't understand. Oh, well, Steven, it's so easy. So you see, the attachments that you have, they have calculated a precise measurement of zero recoil. I don't care. All right, let me try something a little bit more conventional. I'll try a... I'll try the Cobra side. I really don't use the Cobra side too much. Yeah, see? Boom. No recoil. Double kill. Right there. Easy. Triple kill. Triple kill. Look at, look at that. Triple kill. Too easy. This gun? Quadruple kill? Quad kill. Let's go. Too easy. Multi kill? Let's go. I died. I'm bad. Honestly, man, this is the type of thing that you just... You've got to try it. It just feels super cool to be able to use this thing. Now, this definitely is a far cry from my bajillion kills on my M231. And that, that's, that's just, you can't, that's just how it is. But it's a bit of a refreshing thing to not really have to sweat as much, and I could just kind of play a little bit more casually. Yeah, I, this, this is fine. I have, I have no reason why you should not give this a try. It's not even like this is the test place or anything. This is just like the final gun. I don't know how long it's been like this before. Y'all ready to see my no recoil setup, guys? Check this out. That's how I feel like most people, most people treat it. But no, I got you, I got you. I'm here, I'm here making, I'm here making the real deal videos. The actually factually is, if you will. The real gaming, the real gaming lore to Phantom Forces, which I believe probably heavily involves no recoil setups, I'm not gonna lie. I keep hearing people above me and then there's nobody there. So, I don't know where they're hiding. I think I found them. 
Oh, I had no ammo left. What else can you say? This thing is just a freaking powerhouse. Doesn't matter if you got a scope on it. Doesn't matter if you use something unconventional like a freaking like this. Nope, even this like borderline useless scope it makes use of. Use it, try this out. The attachments, they're totally worth buying. This thing is crazy. If you guys actually have any no recoil setups, you should post them in the comments below and maybe, uh, maybe I can make a video out of that or something. Just to see what people, most people consider uh, no recoil. Hope that you guys actually found something uh, useful in this. That'd be pretty, pretty cool, gotta say. I appreciate you guys watching. Stay safe, make sure you stay warm because it's getting kind of chilly outside. And I'll see you guys later. Who's this? I don't know what to do about it. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down there and kill- <laughs> Oh my god. No, no, I'm here.